All right, back to another video today. We're actually going to be talking about how to do uh, or how to use FSD in your Tesla. So this is a Hardware 3 uh, Model Y. So we do have FSD 12.6.4. So not as good as uh, 13 and our other Hardware 4 car, but uh, <coughs> works just the same. So you go to the car icon to get to the menu, hit autopilot. And whereas yesterday we were doing, talking about the auto, or last time we were talking about the auto steer, uh, this time we'll do FSD. Uh, so if it was on auto steer and you purchased FSD outright, the $8,000, or if you did the $99 a month, uh, you can turn on FSD. A uh, couple other things I'm gonna note about auto steer before we move to that. So there is the option to do navigate on autopilot, which I did br briefly mention before. It would take uh, interchanges and exits on the interstate uh, according to whatever navigation you had, as well as get around slower vehicles. Um, so it would actually change lanes back and forth. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is uh, traffic light and stop sign control. Uh, it will uh, attempt to stop at stop lights and it would it stops at stop signs and then when lights turn green you have to confirm that it's green so it's actually um it's a little bit finicky to use uh in my opinion but it was an early step towards fsd that they had so i don't actually recommend using it it, it just seems a little bit odd um, and if you have these options you have fsd so fsd is going to be far better so you turn on fsd you have to agree again to do that, um, <clears throat> that you're gonna be paying attention, you're gonna be supervising the car and you are responsible for whatever the vehicle does. So you need to pay attention and make sure it doesn't do anything that you don't want it to. Um, so you turn it on FSD and I always keep it in standard mode, uh, except for certain times on uh, slower roads, I might put it on hurry if I feel like it's just being too chill about getting around uh, slow vehicles. On the interstate, hurry seems to be almost frantic. It seems to just hug the left lane, doesn't want to get out of the, the passing lane. And also, um, it just makes a lot of lane changes that seem unnecessary. Now, the recommended offset for max speed is 40%. And that's just so that if it deems it uh, safe to go that speed, it could go 40% over. Obviously, you're going to get pulled over if you're going 40% over the speed limit. So like if it's a 25 and you know it's allowing it to go 37 or something like that, uh, you know that's not going to be great um, because you could definitely get pulled over. And plus, it's not safe to be going 37 in a 25. So I actually keep it at the 10% offset. Uh, just because it is uh, a comfortable speed. And you can always change uh, the scroll scroll wheel what your maximum is, and it will uh, potentially uh, change up higher uh, based on that. Unfortunately, the max speed that, speed that you set is not the speed that it will go. It will go whatever speed under that that it feels comfortable going. So sometimes that's a problem, and if you turn it on hurry, that can get it to go a little bit quicker uh, if it's going too slow for you. But otherwise, I keep it in standard and the 10% offset. Um, also, you do have the ability to turn on the expanded full self-driving visualization, which just means it's just gonna show you the whole screen uh, for <coughs> the self-driving, which we can actually do uh, anyway when we uh, turn it on here in a minute. And you'll get to see that so you can use FSD without uh, a destination. However, um, you know, you're not going to really necessarily end up anywhere uh, that you probably wanted to go. <laughs> uh, so obviously it will just keep driving on FSD and it'll just go wherever it feels like uh, is an easy way to go. Um, but obviously that's not really helpful most of the time. So we'll go ahead and put in a navigation point. 
and gives a couple different options. This one looks a little bit more interesting to me. Um, yeah, so that'll be good. So what we'll do here is see it should be going out of the parking lot. And just like autopilot, it's going to be one stock pool. Um, because this is a, an FSD version 12, you cannot start from park. So on FSD 13, we could actually, once we have that navigation in there, there would actually be an option to just press the button and it would start from park. Uh, because this is FSD 12, 12.6.4, 12 uh, we actually have to put it in drive first. But as soon as the steering wheel shows up here, that indicates that you can turn FSD on. So I'm not parked, I'm in drive, I'm not moving, uh, but now that shows up so I can pull the stock down once. And instead of going right, it's decided it's gonna go left uh, and then it's probably gonna go right out of the parking lot here. That actually probably makes more sense anyway, um, but it's, it's funny how it just will kind of Oh no, it changed, it changed which uh, direction it was going to go. All right, so I changed the direction real quick. Uh, yeah, so that kind of confused it. So I did want it to go to the right here on this street um, and it was going to turn left. And so again, that's kind of like one of the things that FSD will do is it kind of just decides which direction it wants to go. And sometimes that ends up changing your route. Uh, so you, you kind of got to pay attention to that sometimes if there was a particular route that you wanted to take um, instead of the one that it chose. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. But with FSD, it will do everything for us. So it's taking the turns, it's steering, you know, it's turning on the turn signal, it's doing the accelerator, the brake, uh, everything it needs to do is stops the stop signs, stops at lights. There are, of course, edge cases that uh, it will not perform how it should. Um, for instance, right now, for some reason, it thinks the speed limit is 25. I'm pretty certain it is 45. Uh, so I'm not sure. I just went ahead and put the max speed up to 50. I'm pretty sure it's 45 here. The car behind us is, um, they're not, honest yet so okay now yeah now now, now it sees that it's 45 miles per hour and it's going up to a more comfortable 48 miles per hour so that's good but yes so just like autopilot it will stay in the lane and with fsd though it has this solid line in front of it that indicates the direction it's going to take uh, it can change lanes i can force it to change lanes if i want it to if I want to so I just turned on the turn signal and it changed lanes actually we are going to have to turn right so it's going to change lanes back so now it's changing lanes back into the correct lane because we are taking it right so you can kind of indicate what you want it to do you can override with the uh, accelerator however it will not stop if you override so you are responsible if it runs into something because it's not going to stop. You're overriding that uh, dynamic radar cruise control. So here I'll press the accelerator and see now it's accelerator pressed, autopilot will not break. So don't really want to do that most of the time uh, because if you're not paying attention to that, you could think that it's going to slow down for something. And obviously if you have the accelerator pressed, that's going to override it. So just like autopilot as well, you can disengage it in three different ways. You can press up on the stock, that disengages it. You can steer, so that disengages it completely. And you can also press on the brake. So if you press the brake, that disengages everything as well. So you also have the opportunity when you disengage it to uh, report to Tesla, you can make a short recording uh, to tell them why you disengaged. So if you disengaged because it wasn't doing something that you wanted it to do, uh, or that you didn't feel was safe, then you could report that in a short audio 
uh, message to Tesla. And, you know, they obviously, if they are having trouble with certain areas, they'll go and listen to those audio recordings and see what situation was that actually caused that. Um, I'm sure there's many, 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 <laughs> probably millions of uh, audio messages, so I'm sure they don't listen to all of them. But they do have a way to kind of sift through them uh, for areas that they're looking for particular uh, things that people are disengaging for and why they're disengaging so they can go and review that. So that is FSD. And like I said, that is um, only available if you subscribe $100 a month to FSD or if you pay outright 8000 for FSD. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not controlling it here. And see these cars, th there's a box around this intersection, which is interesting because it doesn't show up on the uh, on the visualization. But there is a box that indicates that we're supposed to not block this intersection. Now that car went ahead and went. And I guess I probably will too because there's nobody here and we have plenty of room. So I'm pressing the accelerator here just because it seems a little goofy to stay that, that far back uh, when there's no reason to. And we had plenty of space here to, to stop up here. Um, but it does all that without uh, any input, and I, I highly recommend FSD. Now, we've had troubles with FSD here in our 12.6.4, uh, so the hardware three cars, FSD, it's kind of hit and miss. Uh, it's not very good on our car, but I know a lot of people say that 12.6.4 is actually really good in their hardware three cars, so hit or miss. But version 13 in the hardware four cars, I can attest, is excellent. So, so one thing I forgot to mention earlier was that for full self-driving, <clears throat> it does not require your hands to be on the wheel. It does use eye tracking now, at least with version 13, uh, also in version 12.6.4. Uh, so <clears throat> basically the latest version of FSD on hardware three or hardware four will do eye tracking, so I don't actually have to have my hands on the wheel ever, as long as it can see that I'm looking forward. Now, right now, I don't have my sunglasses on. If I put my sunglasses on, it doesn't actually uh, know where my eyes are looking, uh, so it will just track my head movements. So if you have the sunglasses on, then it's just doing your head tracking, basically. If you have the sunglasses off, it will do the eye tracking. So if I'm just uh, looking away, then it will not like it again because we're just sitting here. It's not going to do anything. If this green dot goes away, that means that attention monitoring is no longer available and you will have to hold the steering wheel and give it slight pressure uh, to make sure that it knows that you are paying attention and will take control if necessary. But otherwise, you can have your hands off the steering wheel. Uh, for the entire drive, uh, assuming you don't want to intervene. Excellent. So that's it for this one. Just uh, wanted to show quickly how you can use FSD in your Tesla. And so thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.